Hey everyone, this is Bad No Bad, and this is a demo of my Spellcaster Helper extension. So this extension is meant to make casting spells really easy and a bunch of new features for spellcasting characters uh, that really help players, but also help the DMs keep track of players you know, not forgetting to mark off their spells or accidentally memorizing too many spells, things like that. Let me show you how this works. So I'm going to open up a character here. All right, so... What you'll notice is in this action section, uh, if you're a spellcaster, you'll see a section here called Spell, Known, and Prepared. And this character is a really complicated spellcaster, bar, sorcerer, wizard, different levels. So lots of stuff going on in terms of spells, right? So the first thing you'll notice is this section here, Spells, Known, Prepared. If you expand this, this is going to give you a breakdown for each of your spellcasting classes. How many cantrips do you know versus how many should you know at your current level? Uh, and spells known. So how many of you learned, um, like, you know, for, for example, the bard's supposed to have four spells at this level. And do they actually have four on the character sheet? Yes. Um, then prepared, how many, if it's a class that requires preparing, how many have you prepared currently versus how many are you allowed to prepare? So this actually does the calculation for you. Normally you'd have to go look at the rule book and see, you know, for wizard, it's like your intelligence plus your level divided by two or something like that, right? So I always, when I leveled up, I always forget what that was. I have kept going checking back and forth. Um, so this will automatically update for you as you up the level, which I'll show you in a minute. And if it's a class that doesn't really require preparation, just to simplify things, I'm just moving it to a prepared like system where it's just always, you can prepare it however many you know, right? So it's the same number there. So there's also this refresh button here. Now, now it should automatically update every time you come to this, or the first time you come to the Actions tab, or like when you level up. But if something ever doesn't do that automatically, you can just hit this, and it'll automatically update all these numbers for you. All right. Um, let's see. So that's one main thing here, uh, just getting a really good summary of that data. The next thing I'll show you is, let's see, how about cantrips? So what am I, what's my wizard level here? Actually, level five, actually, it's, no, sorry, it's all the levels combined, right? So five, six, seven, eight. I think at level 11, the cantrip should go up. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, actually, let me show you the cantrips now, first of all. So you see they're at 2d6 now for my cantrip. I'm going to level up a couple times here. We go back to the cantrips, and you see it automatically updated to 3d6. So it'll just know when, to, when the cantrip should be updated and do that for you. So let's see, what else we got here? Okay, the next big thing, the um, upcasting spell. So let's take a classic example of like a fireball, right? So this wizard, you see, has fourth, fifth, six level spots. Uh, I can click on this use power action now for any spell, and it'll pop up this window, let me cast. And it'll ask me what level I want to cast it at, right? So by default, it's going to be three. And then, here, let me show you a couple different ways you can use this, right? So first I'll hit cast spell. So do I have anything targeted? Let me just target some stuff. Uh, let me, yeah, I'm going to do that again because I didn't have anything targeted. So, the, oops. All right, we got a couple things targeted now. So let me go back to that again. Uh, fireball. Alright, so I'm going to cast the spell. So it tells you here the spell slot has been consumed, so it automatically marks off the spell shot, uh, slot on your character sheet. And then it automatically rolls the attacks and the saving rolls. And as you can see it did that over here. And now I, I just have to hit the resolve spell button and it will do any of the damage, apply any effects or heals, all that are part of the spell automatically. So it resolves spell and it does that for you. So that's the standard casting of the, of the spell, right? Now let's say we want to cast it at a higher level. All right, now I can select fourth level. If you click show hide spell, you can do this any time. It'll automatically show, like update the, the uh, value here for damage. So you can see that it automatically changes to 96. If I want to do fifth level, you go to 10. Or sixth level, you know, 11, so on and so forth. All right, and then... Again, I'll hit the cast spell. Oh, well, it looks like uh, I have to remove my targets, right? So i got to retarget again. 
So in this case, actually, we'll consume two spells, you see, so i got to be careful about that, but um, they'll tell you what it's doing, and then it rolls the, the saves, and then roll the damage, and it does the extra d6 damage, 96. So that works for, like, I can't promise it works for every possible spell, because some of them have really weird things at different levels, right? But all the basic stuff where damage goes up, or even, like, things like absorb elements. Let's try, go look at this example, right? It's um, normally going to do... Oh, that's it. Second level, first level. Yeah, I think it's uh, last time I used it was the second. Um, it's going to automatically update the damage effect that it's going to apply, and it will automatically apply it to my to my character because it's a self-targeting effect. So there's another example. Uh, another simple example of this is like a cantrip. Um, it has an effect and damage, I think. Let me see. Chill touch, maybe? Yeah, so let me make sure I have something targeted. All right, I'm gonna. Where'd it go? Chill touch. All right, now this time it's a cantrip, so you don't have to select a level because there's no level option, right? But you can see this spell does a bunch of different things. It applies some effects and it does damage. So I just can use the cast spell for that. It's going to roll the attack for me, right? And then I click resolve the spell. It's going to do the damage and do the application of the effects to the character uh, and the target accordingly. There you go. So... That's a new sort of automated casting uh, capability that it has, like the, really powerful for casting upper levels, but you can even use it for casting the standard level. It's just a little simpler, I find, than like having to do the expand and like have to click all the different buttons, right, and you get a lot of stuff going on in this page. So I always get kind of frustrated trying to read through all this. It's just a lot, right? So now you should, in theory, you shouldn't even have to ever click this expand button again. Like you can just use this uh, cast action and use this dialog window to do it. Um, also something else you may have noticed that it was doing uh, is as I was casting spells, it posts to chat for everyone to see. So I can say what I, what I did. I'm um, add, don't make, cast, absorb elements at level four. And then anyone can click on that and actually open up the spell reference as well. So the DM has that really easy accessible if they need to read what it does, make sure it's like being done correctly. Uh, so that's really convenient there. All right, now let's say you don't want to use this power window thing here, or whatever we want to call it, the new cast spell window. Um, you can still use the, uh, well, the old way of doing things, right? You can still roll uh, with the, these action buttons and you can use the, uh, you know, the cast. Where's an example of a cast one? Yeah, you can still use it in here. So it's not taking away anything. It's just getting, enhancing on what you can already do. It also adds another capability too, though, like um, where, Get back some spells here. All right, so there's also a new button here to announce the spell. So if you, again, if you wanted like that ability to share the spell quickly with everyone and let the, everyone know what you're casting, let the DM be aware of it, um, that will announce it to the chat, and then you could go ahead and do it, cast it as normal. There's also a button here that should be here. I wonder if I'll check my other character. Minor bug here. I'll get worked out here shortly. Um, no, it seems to be missing. But there should be a button uh, here next to this one that's a check mark that'll let you just mark off the spell slot. And so that way, you know, if you don't want to do it through the window and you want to use a normal, you know, casting and stuff, and then you can just hit this check box and it automatically marks the slot off of the according level. Um, the reason that I found that useful is because sometimes, like, especially when you have a lot of stuff going on in your sheet and you're in the weeds trying to like cast your spell, right? You're like, you're focused on targeting the right things and everything. You don't want to go up and mark things off right away. So you forget to do it and, uh, or you don't want to get distracted. So th that makes it a little easier. And also like another reason you don't want to do it right away is because it will make things disappear because third level spells would just not be here anymore if you don't have a third level slot, right? So um or a higher level slot for them so that will let you like be able to click it at the end rather than trying to do it in the middle when you're casting um, where you're still thinking about it 
Uh, I think that's the anything else. I think that might be about it. Oh, you also notice it will sort of label all of these spell slots. Like before, we create a new character, it wouldn't do that. Um, you would just have, I think, spells. Um, so this automatically applies that label, so it's not just a generic one. So it's a little, little confusing if you have a multi-class. Um, I'll show you real quick. So now right now it says spells, but now once we change something, go to update. See, so I updated the labeling, so now you have the class associated with it, and this is just helpful because if you end up a multi-class later on. It just becomes more clear which spells are for which class type. And you see it also sort of like updates this data, you know, as we saw before. So that's, I think, about it. Uh, I think it should really help people uh, manage their spells and upcast spells and not have to worry about cantrips and just really change the way you use spells in the game. So uh, hopefully you all find this useful. This was um, selected as the thing I should focus on by my patrons. So again, you can thank them for that selection. And if you want to have an input on what I build next and what you know goes into different features, goes into each extension, uh, my patrons are heavily influencing that. So you can find out more about that through my site. So hope you guys enjoy. Uh, have a good one.